Flare Force can handle 3 16 1 quarter, 6 millimeter, 5 16 and 3 8 diameter lines. Performing a flare on the end of an already installed replacement line takes just seconds after the line has been properly sized, bent to fit, squared and fitted with a proper tube nut. Make sure the die slide mechanism is in place by pushing it from the right side all the way to the left. Place the switch in the lock position. Depress the trigger and then push up on the chuck release lever until the chuck is fully released. You should hear air pressure released and the mechanical sound of the chuck opening. Place the switch in the open position. Guide the line all the way into the flare force, checking that it is fully seated. With the end of the line firmly seated against the die and centered in the chuck, place the switch in the lock position. Hold down the trigger for two seconds to perform the first part of the flaring operation. Release the trigger and push the die slide mechanism from the left side to the right. Hold down the trigger again for two seconds to perform the second part of the flaring operation. Place the activation switch in the open position and remove the line from the chuck. You can make a bubble or cone flare using the same setup with a slightly different process.